Hey guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome all subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please do subscribe. Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 8.39pm. Right guys, it's been an interesting evening to say the least, right? Um, uh, this is my hat, that I, it's a ladies cap, it's a ladies baseball cap and it cost me about £5 from Primark in Chatham. So when I take it off, you see my red hair underneath? It's, look, there you are. It's a Primark cap, came from the ladies section. And I wore this coat this afternoon when I went onto the field because it was a bit breezy. So I wore it tonight, and actually it's quite hot this evening, it's very warm. Right, so I was watching um, the cookery channel, the food channel, before I went out. The food channel. I'd been feeling a bit down in the dumps, and I was trying to get relaxed and cheer myself up. So I was watching the Food Channel and they were making Eaton Mess, which is like a, a, a dessert. I've had Eaton Mess um, yogurt, so that's meringue and, and that kind of thing. So I decided to watch it to the end. So it got to 7pm and um, I decided to watch it to the end. And then it ran over 7pm and normally I take Max out just before 7pm in the evening. But it was just after 7pm and me and Max went out and I was wearing this hat, this lovely hat. I was wearing this hat and I walked across the path past Ines Apartments. I don't live in Ines Apartments, so I walked across there. I haven't gone to the gym either. I don't go to the gym in the evening. So I walked around the back of the flats and I walked onto the field and it was completely empty. And I thought, great, fantastic. I can let Max off of the lead. And Max is not a sausage dog, he's a chihuahua. You've all seen Max, haven't you? He's a male chihuahua. So I walked all around the field and it was quite vacant and it was free. And my mother rang me. 01634, the Medway number, on her landline phone, she rang me. And I wanted to let my mum know that I was safe. So I answered the phone call. Then I notice a guy quite a distance away from me and a black dog jumping through the bushes. Now it wasn't a nasty dog, it was a playful black dog. So I wasn't going to shout at it, it was playful. It jumped on the back of my leggings. Um, Max actually snapped at it. He went, Ow! because it was annoying him. The guy was quite a distance away from his black dog, but obviously, you know, dogs are dogs and I'm not going to get cross with somebody because a dog is playing around through the bushes. It was like stalking Max, jumping around it and it was playful, it was a puppy. It turned out it was a nine month old puppy and it was just starting about and playing. I'm not going to yell at somebody for that. Max has done that. Max has run about and, and um, tried to nip people's ankles and they've just laughed. Um, basically, the dog, dog was following me everywhere. It wouldn't go back to its owner. So this black dog was following me absolutely everywhere and it wasn't going back to his owner because it's a puppy. He's, he's training it. The dog's learning. So the guy eventually comes over, calls the dog over and he apologises. He says, I'm sorry, it's a nine month old like puppy. Um, fair enough. I, um, I'd taken a call from my mum and the dog had been jumping all over my back and my legs and my phone fell out of my pocket. My iPhone fell out of my pocket. 
because I, I just put the phone call down, put it in my pocket, and the, this dog came bounding over, and it jumped on my back, jumped on my legs, and my phone fell out of my pocket. Um, so, so this guy and I just had a small chat because I was de I was desperate to find my phone. I realised I'd lost my phone, and I didn't want to keep chatting because. I needed to find my phone. <coughs> so basically, he said um, it, it would be, what, what, what would it be like if um, my dog, my black dog mated with yours? And I thought, that's a, I said to him, I said, that's, that dog's a bit big to ma mate with Max. He said it is possible though dogs mate, all different dogs mate with each other, it's, it's true, but I just couldn't imagine <coughs> Max jumping on a, like a small Labrador. <coughs> I just couldn't imagine Max mating with a, a, a medium-sized black dog, I couldn't imagine it. He went off on his way walking his dog and I told you I realised I'd lost my mobile phone so it took me about 15 minutes to find it because the field has got tall grass and I mean it's, it's nearly up to your shoulders or your waist so I was like going through all this grass like cutting it back with my hands and my feet trying to find my phone a guy came across the field and he started doing exercises, you know, like the fitness exercises. So there was a guy with black hair doing fitness exercises on the field. My hair's red. Um, I was getting a bit frustrated and I thought I'm going to call it a day and go home. And then there it was. I found it. 10-15 minutes of looking to find my phone in tall grass, I actually found it by the tall grass. And wasn't I relieved? Because my mum had been having a conversation with me, Jennifer had. She, and i tell you what she said. She said, um, hello, Janestra. She said, um, I do things for a reason. I've got two lots of dog food and cat food for you when you come up Tuesday and I've got a big bag of cat litter she said um, Charlotte and Stuart came up today to see her Jennifer at Doral Gardens and she said they came in a battered car an old battered car and I said oh really she said yes it was old and battered. Charlotte and Stuart. Um, that's my sister's daughter. Amanda died of multiple sclerosis, so Charlotte was Amanda's daughter. And her boyfriend came up to see my mother Jennifer today at Chatham. I've been on my own all day. I haven't seen anybody. So she said... Um, I've got some money for you um, to last because it's bank holiday. It's bank holiday. She said, um, it's my money. So I said, fair enough. And um, she said it was a very, very old battered car that Charlotte and Stuart came up to see her in. Anyway, um, I got back into my flat and I thought, right, so I'll get my dinner for tomorrow because my mum doesn't want to see me till Tuesday. So I thought I'll get my lunch for tomorrow, my lunch. So I checked my electricity on the electricity meter. It should last until at least Tuesday morning. And I went into the co-op and there was two blokes, they, the 
one lives in this apartment, short bloke with a vest, a gym vest, and he had a car like the guy upstairs. The guy upstairs has got a Ford Mondeo, and he used to have a car similar to him, and he had gym gear on and his hair tied back, like blonde hair with his hair tied back. Small bloke, not much bigger than my size. So as I was walking up towards the co-op, he, he, the guy from Ines Apartments pulled up with another lad with a hood over his head, got out of the car and, and they came out of the co-op with stuff. And they, the, the guy started laughing. Of course I'd had a, do a black dog jump all over me. And it's like scratched the back of my legs and the back of my jacket and you know, so th this guy was laughing at me and I went to the cash point, I checked my card and um, they were getting into the car together, this, this like racer, small little car and um, it wasn't battered and I can't drive, I haven't got a car at all. So I then went into the co-op and I had to, I redeemed a five pound scratch card. I'd won, won five pound on a scratch card. So I've just come back from the co-op just now. I've got some Maltesers Rocky Road cakes. I've got the Sunday Mirror. Sorry, Max. I've got the, he's all right, by the way. He hasn't been stomped on or bitten. This is the Mirror newspaper which cost um, £2.30 because they didn't have any sons left. And um, Chris Eubanks on the front. Chris Eubanks is on the back of that. I've got some Pringles, some crisps. I got a Golden Fortune scratch card because I exchanged it for that. I got some Nescafe Gold Latte. I got a Yuzu strawberry milk drink. This is all from the co-op in Rochester. I got a vanilla yogurt and I got a chicken and bacon pasty. Chicken and bacon pasty, right? Although I don't know people's names, I think everybody is the same as me. You recognise people. So when, when Crime Watch as a, a, a televised a crime and they ask people to come forward or there's a murder or there's something or someone's been beaten up, they ask you, don't they, witnesses to come forward. And you might know, not know people's names, but my flats are opposite Ines Apartments. And although I don't know any of their names, I know what they look like. I visually know what they look like. Because my, my flat and window is right opposite Ines Apartments. So I know that guy that was laughing with his mate when I walked past to that cat cash point till after that black dog jumped all over me. I know what he looks like. He goes to the gym. Like my son, my son used to go to the gym in, Ch in uh, Rochester. But he doesn't uh, go there anymore because he doesn't live down here in Rochester. No, I'm not going to make a big deal out of that. That was a puppy. That was a nine-month-old black dog. And, and dogs need to learn. I've got no problem with that. In fact, the, the guy was quite funny. He was quite quite a nice guy. And um, we just chatted for, for, for a minute. And, um, you know... I'm not angry or cross with that and I walked into the shop after that happened and I walked up the road. I don't think it was funny. 
think it was odd. I don't think it was funny. Max is minute, he's tiny, and this dog was like three or four, well, maybe five times the size of him, and he, and he, he went, Arr! he wasn't having none of that. The thing is, the dog wasn't dangerous, it wasn't nasty, but Max is a very small dog, and if a dog bounces all over him, it could break his little legs. The dog might not mean to do it, it might be an accident, but I don't want that to happen, do I? So I've been into the co-op, I've got food and drink to eat. I am a woman, a female, and I feel like I'm being treated like a fella. And I'm, I'm tiny myself. Right, so my mum has got two lots of dog food, two lots of cat food, a big bag of cat litter and some money for me and it was just weird how my phone dropped in the, in the grass and that dog came bounding over knocking the phone out of my pocket. But I have found my phone. I'm just going to get, get on with the rest of my evening. Like I said, I was feeling depressed. I mean, that's gone. And I'm not making mountains out of mole hills. It was just a, a puppy jumping over me. And puppies need to learn. And, and you know, I deal with things as they happen. So, so I'm not angry. I'm not going to shout at somebody. Max has done it. He's, he's gone for people's ankles. He's actually tried to nip with his teeth and people laugh, they laugh, it's a tiny dog, it's a tiny dog, it's as, long, as long as you apologise, the guy said sorry and that's fair enough, see you later.